Hey guys, sorry about the noise in the background, can't help it. This video is kind of a combo of two different things. I went to a couple of garage sales, have some footage of that, and also a what sold video, some highlights of what sold over the last couple of weeks. All right, well, let's get to it. And it is video game. <laughs> okay, there we are. This is actually one of my old games for my GameCube system. Sims busting out. Sold it on Mercari for $12 plus shipping. I've got a good one. I finally sold after getting some, not low ball offers, but offers that were just frankly too low. I finally sold all those vintage Pepsi aprons from the 1960s. Eh, I'll pull them out. I picked these up at that yard sale. I forgot how much I have into them. Um, this is the one where I picked up all these wonderful vintage uh, aprons, um, other than just Pepsi Cola, and I also picked up that EVP recorder. So I'm guessing I have maybe 10 to $20 total into this, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but anyways, I finally sold it on eBay, took a best offer. $100 plus shipping and there's seven of them in here and they're going way again way off to the east coast I sold something self-sourced that's a tongue twister Tammy's gaming <laughs> this is something I've had since the 1990s it's this crushed velvet um, purple shirt I have no memory where I got it it's Extra Touch International 1X. And I always thought it was cool. I don't fit into it anymore, and nor do I really wear crushed velvet anymore. So I sold it on eBay for $23 and change, plus shipping. I'm on my way to visit my mom. And yes, this is the type of area she lives. And I see a yard sale over there, and a yard sale right here. That's crazy. Aloe plants. Hi, good morning. was mostly baby clothes which I don't really have a use for so I'm gonna check this out this looks like more adult size things oh. they're moving <laughs> oh she got tipped <laughs> oh my gosh I got distracted <laughs> oh my god what we got oh my god I wish we had something at home to keep you in So cute. Baby chicks. I want one. <laughs> five dollars each or five for twenty. Not so, you see every day. So cute. No, not at a garage sale, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I used to have seen the other time I had a goat out here. Oh cool. <laughs> if I still lived at my I'm visiting my mom, she lives up there. If I still lived in the area, I would totally yeah. as long as we had a coop. I don't think she has a coop anymore, but <laughs> That's cute. Ooh, some vans. What size are those? Men's 10. Ooh, the Chelsea boots are cute. Access. <laughs> so I didn't really find anything over there other than the chicks. Found a pair of jeans that might be worth trying to flip, or they're actually, I think they're Tammy size, so. This thing I saw was in number C, letter C. It is a that Heisenberg t-shirt that I picked up. That's it. At a um, garage sale. This is clearly before I started putting them in the plastic. It's a long sleeve black woman's little t-shirt and I sold it to a lady in Ohio on Facebook Marketplace. How much was it? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. I believe it was $13 plus shipping and after fees I'll make about $11. I sold 
Where are you? There you are. The sealed cassette tape I picked up at the estate sales. Um, and it sold for $13.50 plus shipping. The sale in my new small little bin, F, is a Carhartt pair of jeans. I think that's them there. <laughs> it's all smashed in there. But um, yeah, this is one of the Carhartts I picked up at the Palm Springs flea market. And I sold it for $15 plus shipping on eBay. I finally sold one of my encapsulated books. Uh, I've got to find it though. 215. Of course. There we go. So I just, I've listed quite a few of these. Probably at least half of them. And this one just sold. I listed this this, this week, actually. And it just sold for $65 plus shipping. i um, not going to make a lot of money on this because it the cost to encapsulate it was like $23 or something like that. So I can't remember how much I paid for this comic book originally. I don't think it was that. I, I don't remember, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm just counting the cost of goods as the cost of encapsulation. So, yeah. Um, sold it for $65. Have at least $23 into it, maybe a little bit more after fees. I might make 20 bucks. But hey, that's good. I'm, I'm kind of a, a little bit sad too, because I, 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 oh, I, I love these comic books growing up, but I got them encapsulated as a an investment. So this one's the first one I sold. So I'm, I gotta accept it and move on. <laughs> Next, I sold a little Bose. Um, it's like a portable CD player that I picked up at a, an estate sale. Probably overpaid for it. There it is. And tested it. And it's working. So, and I sold this for $25 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. My next sale is in here. There it is. I have this um, Ironwood Dolphin that I got in an estate sale in Beaumont quite a while ago. And just sold it on Poshmark for $14 plus shipping finally sold some of these things. Gosh, this right when I got into reselling again last year, last well, over a year ago, I picked up this, see how dusty it is on top? I picked up this bulk box of home medic stuff. And one of the items was this personal air sanitizer. And I don't, I may have sold one in the past, but I have so much of this, so many things. I think I still have two left of these and two left of these wraps down there, but finally sold one on eBay this afternoon for about $22 and change plus shipping. Probably break about even when all is said and done, but that's okay. I need to get rid of this stuff. One of the best things about this is it fits perfectly in this large mailing box. This is not a flat rate. This is just a large mailing box for priority mail. I'm gonna add some packing material around it and send it off had to pull the bin E out of my storage area so I could open it and get to it. It's getting packed in there. I sold a Hawaiian shirt today. Hooray! Let's see. It's this one right here. Um, sold this AV collection or AVI collection by Kahala. Um, love the print. It's a gorgeous print. And sold it to somebody up in Washington for a little bit under $22 plus shipping. This is in the unmarked bin and it's an old shirt. I finally sold this shirt. I picked up a long, long time ago. In fact, I might have to do some digging, so let me pause this. It's in here. I picked this up at a church sale a long time ago. It's really wrinkly because it's been shoved down in here. It's called a Vintage Silk brand, and I guess it would be considered a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> this is well, well before the Hawaiian shirts that I picked up. Um, this was sometime last year I picked this up. Anyways, um... Took a best offer of $9, and then they, of course, uh, handled the shipping. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me again. Until next time, bye.